What's going on? How are you guys today? I'm down here at Frankie's Free Range Meet all by my lonesome on Monday, which is actually Memorial Day. Uh, so I hope you guys had some fun yesterday. It's been like horrible, horrible weather in New York. I think Friday or Saturday was literally 40 degrees outside. I thought it was about to snow and it actually just cleared up a little bit and it is much nicer today. Still a little chilly and I'm just down here getting some stuff ready. This is one of the few days per year where there's a holiday. So UPS is closed, FedEx is closed, nothing shipping. So we can't send our orders out on Monday as usual, which means Tuesday we're going to be a little busier. We have to get everything out. But I didn't do any promotions last week. I didn't really do any product focuses. So the overall order volume is much lower. Therefore, it's actually going to be less work than we normally do on just a Monday by itself. Uh, so I have to maybe get 25, 30 orders ready in the freezer. I got to fill some foods orders and organ supplements orders so that uh, the post office can pick them up early tomorrow and I don't get in the way of my guys when they're filling the meat orders. And I also have to organize the freezer, uh, which shouldn't take more than 15, 20 minutes. I just, you know, I got to suit up in my Teletubby Eskimo outfit and I'll show you guys that. I'll try not to complain this video, but you know, coming down here every day, I'm just getting more and more to the point where I feel like I need a permanent vacation. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. It wasn't too bad today, maybe an hour and a half. I actually had some uh, jerky and some chocolate uh, before I went in the freezer because I didn't eat anything today. And you know, when I'm wearing this cold weather outfit and I got these, you know, sorrel heavy duty boots on, the only thing that really gets cold is my face because I'll, I'll put the hood up, I'll have some heated gloves on. Sometimes my hands do get a little cold, but you know, I'm basically sweating right now in this outfit. Uh, so I guess we could take a quick look around the freezer. I mean, it's more organized than before. <laughs> I mean, that's all I have to say. You know, I have the orders ready for next week. We don't really have that much product in stock, but what I did was like for the bone and ribeye steaks, I sorted them by weight. So instead of getting an approximate two pound steak, now you can go on the website, get a 1.8, 1.7, 1.6, and it's all correspondingly priced. Same with the venison loin steaks and the venison Denver steaks. They're packaged by five ounce, four ounce, three ounce, and two ounce. It's, it's a little bit crazy, and it's, it's a lot of work on my end, but it's the only way you guys really get to pay a fair price. We definitely have a lot of lamb burgers to move. This is one of the products that's been in here for a little while. A couple of these prime rib roasts are left. Incredibly affordably priced, guys. I think these are $95 and you get, you know, it's crazy. No one else sells stuff like this at this price. We still have these really nice Tajima grass-fed Wagyu strip steaks uh, that we looked at on a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I'm happy we're getting products in, but I'm just so stressed out with these suppliers. Like I've been trying to get picanha in for months and months and months and months. And we had some a couple weeks ago, but sold out very quickly and, and the supply is really low. So I'm really banking on getting the slaughterhouse within a couple months. And but look, I don't mind being in a freezer for eight, nine, 10 hours a day. It's just when I'm down here, you know, in New York City and like I'm scrambling to, to barely make money and all this stuff, it's just, it's just nothing in comparison to actually having your own operation, living closer by so you don't have to commune as much, having more employees so you can delegate certain tasks. You know, I'm looking forward to you know, you know, the, the future of this business, but right now I'm just kind of over everything and going through the motions. And that's definitely not reflected in um, you know, the products and the results because everything is you know, better than it ever has been. It's just, yeah, I'm just, I just don't feel happy about anything. Um, I guess we'll take a another look around, show you guys what products we have, show you guys what's going on. All the salts are back in stock. We got the beef tallow, the wagyu tallow, the pork lard, and the lamb tallow. If you guys ordered on the foods website, I'll get these orders out by Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, fortunately, I have to make some more water kefir. Uh, that's the main thing I'm waiting on. We have plenty of best bars for you guys. Berry, vanilla, chocolate, extra chocolate, and one thing that I will be doing is instead of having chocolate and extra chocolate, we're getting rid of extra chocolate and the chocolate flavor is going to be extra chocolate. So, you know, don't be worried that extra chocolate is leaving because 
it's what the new chocolate flavor is going to be. Everyone likes the extra chocolate a lot more. And I really want to keep things simple. I don't want to do, you know, four, five, six, seven flavors of the best bar. So as soon as you guys buy the rest of the regular chocolate and the extra chocolate, all of the chocolate are going to be extra chocolate. I don't think that's too confusing. These are the salts back in stock, the Bolivian Rose, Mountain Spring Salt, and the Peruvian Pink Salt. You guys like that a lot, and I don't really make any money off stuff like this. I do like providing it for you guys, though. I was laughing like half an hour ago because I just remembered like a couple days last week when I was down here filling some orders. The, the neighbor was spraying like some sort of cleaner or like very high scented perfume in, in the air vents because, I, you know, if you guys have been keeping up, he's sick of like the beef tallow and the meat smell in here. Uh, so I was like getting headaches and like getting nauseous from all the, the fucking perfume he was spraying in the vents. So uh, <laughs> when we get that meat dehydrator and then we start doing that, hopefully I have the HVAC set up nice so, so that's not too much of an issue. And I really am looking forward to that. You know, I said I had the, the chocolate and, and the beef jerky earlier. And when we start making the chocolate pemmican again, I'm probably going to be practically living off of that stuff. So I, I think that dehydrator is still a month away. Uh, the good news is uh, the Chinese brethren have set it up for 120 volts. So I don't think I have to pay that much for electrical work or an inverter. Uh, it's just going to be the HVAC stuff. Uh, so we'll see. That's going to be that's going to be a big project. It's, it's, it's a pretty high capacity dehydrator. Uh, you know, I, bought, I mean, $5,000 is a lot of money for a commercial dehydrator. They have, you know, it, it ranges from like two or 3,000 to 15,000, depending on the size. So with that capacity, if it's a 24 hour drying period, you know, I'm gonna have guys in here basically cutting meat and, and doing that almost every single day, all day. And, and hopefully I can employ like two or three people consistently and keep that going. So. Uh, there's a chance I might be able to buy high volume uh, like dried ground beef from somewhere and then just make the jerky and stuff myself which would be you know make a lot more sense depending on the price I could get it for otherwise you know drying out the the ground beef myself that's gonna be, be a pretty tall task so we'll see so Frankie's free range foods is looking good uh, we're out of the nature's glucose I don't know when that's gonna be back and I think I've mentioned it before I can get like a pure 100% organic glucose powder. It's just really expensive and I'd have to import so much of it. Uh, I, I might actually do that because I was thinking of launching another product on the side. I just have so many ideas in my head that, you know, even the businesses I have now, it's just, you know, I, I want to do so, so, so much more. Uh, Frankie's Naturals is looking good. I got to stop being lazy and make some deodorant, make some moisturizing cream, bring everything down here to the warehouse. So. My parents stopped complaining that everything's in their garage. Uh, Wi-Fi shielding, I'm buying fabric this week. Hopefully we have all the clothing back within a month for you guys. I've been procrastinating on that as well. Organ supplements, we're out of some of the powders. I'm trying to get more in. I'm working on everything I'm trying to get more in. It's just with, you know, with the COVID nonsense and importing stuff, it's very, very difficult. And I don't know what's going on in these countries sometimes. Um, it's very difficult to get high quality products now. Um, I, I mean, if I had the business connections before all of this crap started, I might be able to get them easier. But I'm trying to get everything back in stock for you guys and hopefully all of these businesses materialize and work out well enough to the point that I have enough of an income where I can do all of the things I want to do. And in the, in the interim, in, in the moderate future, it's, it's the slaughterhouse, it's the dairy and egg operation, which is going to allow me to uh, raise beef, pork, and chicken how I want the big three. There will definitely be some culinary stuff with charcuterie, bacon, prepared meats. Definitely have to hire a chef to do that up there. When I get all that stuff up and running, which is going to be b basically the main core of my business, then I can hopefully open a soup kitchen somewhere in New York City, maybe once or two days a week where we can use up like the extra stuff. And there's also a lot of potential for uh, fresh organs and, and a lot of fresh glandulars in, from that slaughterhouse. But that's if I don't lose my mind and disappear to some beach, which I would rather do at this point. Uh, we got the protein back in stock too. Uh, I don't really think there's anything else uh, for me to touch on besides complaining about 
how hard it is to do everything. I reached out to Mountain Valley to try to get some bottled water in here like six times and no one's, these people just don't know how to do business. Um, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed your weekend. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your week. If you can please drop a like. You know, I don't give a shit about the like and the subscriber and the notification bullshit. Uh, you can check out all my businesses on frankdestefano.com. And uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow.